Hey everyone, throughout my life, I've always really loved expressing myself through fashion. I wanted to be a fashion designer as a child, and I've always been inspired with cool themes and colors and art. As I got older though, I lost that eccentric and whimsical part of myself that I loved dearly as a child. So when the pandemic started, I really tried to reconnect with her. I started getting inspired again by old fantasy art and fashion from different centuries. I started to grow my room into a whimsical sanctuary and I feel that I've really grown into my personal style within the last few years. I feel that I'm finally growing into wearing clothing that reflects my personality the most. With that in mind, today I will be showing you some clothing I've seen around the internet that I feel would make my dream wardrobe. I can find the majority of what I like to wear at thrift stores, but I haven't been able to find any of these items, so I'm either going to try to make them, or I'm going to try to find them somewhere. Sorry, my cat is meowing. Hopefully, making this video will help me manifest these items, but before I show you my dream wardrobe, I would like to sh tell you like what my kind of personal style is. I don't have an exact niche, but I like a more vintage look with fantasy and whimsical elements. I, I like the kind of fairy-like, siren-like kind of look, depending on the day. This is my favorite corset, and I bought this a while ago. It makes music. It's really cool. Uh, and I have a lot of like cool rings. This is kind of what I usually go for. I want to start off strong today with shoes. Um, I've been admiring these incredible museum themed Doc Martens now for a long time and coming from a total art history nerd, these Hieronymus Bosch boots are so cool. It's pretty difficult to see the details in these pictures, but these boots depict the last panel of the Garden of Earthly Delights by Bosch and I've always found Bosch's grotesque work very interesting and I definitely buy these boots but they're just really really expensive. Here are these other Doc Martin boots with this William Blake artwork on it. I really love these as well. I like the front of them since they work well to fit the shoes look instead of just kind of like slapping together like some printed leather. Next I want to show off these really beautiful Oxfords I found. I've seen these William Hogarth boots on mood boards on Pinterest for a while now and I absolutely love them. I love the look of these more than the context of the art here whereas with Bosch it was the opposite. Um, I liked both, but I really like the look of the classical art on the Oxfords. I think it just looks really nice. Lastly, in the Doc collection, I found these amazing koi fish Oxfords, and I absolutely adore them. I love the color scheme, and I feel that I could really put together some beautiful looks with this. Next in the shoe category, I've been wanting some pretty heels, some pretty wooden heels to be exact. And I found these gorgeous shoes on Pinterest a while back and I absolutely adore them. The simple floral designs on the sides are beautiful but my favorite part is actually the shape. It gives a very organic look. It shows like these shapes in nature that I really love and they're not the most practical shoes in the world but as we can see by this video practicality probably isn't the main thing I'm thinking about when I'm putting up garments together. Otherwise these shoes are absolutely stunning. The next pair of shoes that I would want in my dream wardrobe are these swan heels. They are so dainty and beautiful and I could really see myself styling them with like a beautiful antique dress and beautiful white tights. I'm really looking for any kind of heels with tapestry fabric. As you'll see later in this video, I'm pretty obsessed with tapestry fabric. Overall though, I really, really love these. Lastly for shoes, I'm looking for some bulky brown sandals. I've adored these vintage swear platforms for a while now, and they're perfect for summer and I love the wide platform look. Um, another example of these bulky sandals would be these leather Doc Martens, once again, I'm sorry. <laughs> these are also sandals and I like the look of the leather as well as the side buckle. I think the addition of security belts on sandals are really nice when done properly. Um, also the cutout sun design is really really cute. Our next category includes tops and dresses. I absolutely love antique dresses with embroidery details and beautiful lace, and I am always searching for them all over eBay and the Goodwill outlets. For example, I found this beautiful 1910s, 1920s dress on eBay a while back, and if it was just a little bit bigger, I would have 100% bought it. Um, I love how delicate it looks and the fairy like cutout at the bottom makes me feral. <laughs> I would love to style this with some beautiful old headwear, a penny lane coat, some pearls, um, or honestly just on its own. 
I would love to remake this dress one of these days. This other dress from the early 1900s is another example of what I'm looking for. I love the detailing on the bottom of the skirt and the floral embellishments at the top. Um, I also really like how the bottom of it flows so nicely because of where the bottom tier of the dress starts, you know? It makes a really beautiful silhouette. I also adore this beautiful dress and corset combination. I love the details at the top and the pink ribbon. I also like the pairing of this corset with the dress. Um, it carves out an interesting, edgier silhouette, and I just really want to go pick some apples by Creek in this combination. It's just really cute. I have also been loving old summer tops and old corset covers with the same look. Um, this camisole design I found on Pinterest is so stunning to me. I've been loving the idea of Victorian underclothes as outfits with the small rise in bloomers that I've seen in the past bit. Um, I think these camisoles kind of fit into that. I love the antique lace designs on the straps and once again I am a sucker for flower motifs in the form of eyelets. I also adore the bows. Here are two other tops with the same kind of style. This is a more modern variation of what I'm looking for but I really love the placement of the lace and the blue ribbon at the bottom. I think it's really pretty. On the other hand, I really like this other one too. Um, it's older and I don't like the silhouette as much on my body for this one, uh, but the details are gorgeous and I would still buy this if I found it at my local thrift store. Our next category is corsets and corset tops. Specifically, I'm looking for tapestry corsets um, and velvet and antique lookalikes. For example, these Ala O Vest corsets are absolutely gorgeous. They're a little bit too much for me to handle right now in terms of finances, but they are certainly worth it. This blue antique style one, beautiful. Anyways, I love when corsets have these flaps. I don't know exactly what the term for them is, but I love them. Ala O Vest also has this gorgeous floral tapestry corset that I'm in love with. This exact floral design is very pretty and it's perfect for layering different designs within outfits. I could really put together a patterned green look with this or just put this corset on top of a white dress to go like frolicking in the woods. <laughs> Lastly for this brand, I found this lovely pink corset. Um, it looks like, like those kinds of fabric wallpaper that you'd find in like a Rococo style palace. It's really lovely. Next, here are some other corset designs I found on Pinterest. This purple painted corset is absolutely gorgeous. I love this dearly. I know it's difficult to see the designs too well in the pictures, but the floral details are so beautiful in this, and I love these closures up front too. I don't know what it is about them. I just really do love them. The colors look really beautiful and I can really see myself styling and layering these very nicely. I cannot tell you how much I adore this garment. From now on, I'm going to go through these corset tops really quickly so that this doesn't just become a corset top video, but I love this black and gold run. I think it looks really nice. It's really simple, but it adds kind of a pirate look and I love that. Next, this Jean-Paul Gaultier top also gives me this kind of simple pirate type of aura. I would wear anything from that man's mind though, so this isn't exactly a surprise. I mainly just like the texture and the closures. These Flora May corsets though, they are gorgeous. They haven't had commissions open for a while, but I really love their work and I would love to find or make corsets like these. The unicorn one is probably my favorite. This bottom center one is also incredible though. I wouldn't be able to choose a favorite um, if they opened up their shop again, to be completely honest. Next, I also adore this red velvet corset from the 1880s. It's beautifully romantic and it's a highly unrealistic bucket list item of mine um, to wear a corset like this to a Christmas dinner at a palace or something. Lastly, for corsets, we have this beauty. I would love to recreate this one one of these days. I love the print and I think the contrast between the main blue print and the red on the straps could make a really beautiful color combination for many looks. Moving back to the dress category, the next dream wardrobe finds would be prairie dresses. Firstly, most people know about gunny sacks dresses, and I found a few myself, but it's pretty difficult to find authentic gunny sacks dresses in my size. Of course, I would love it if I could find some in my size, but I found some beautiful lookalikes with a broader range of sizes. For example, this one from Retro Fairy. The lace up front, the satin detailing, and these beautiful ruffles really bring the dress to life. 
These dresses don't need layering since they're so detailed on their own as well. Jessica McClintock made a range of these Gunny Sacks dresses in mainly the 70s, ranging from medieval styles to Edwardian styles to 70s bohemian styles, and I've seen so much of the cottagecore aesthetic influenced by her work. Therefore, I'm really glad that people are making Gunny Sacks lookalikes and inspired creations now. That being said, another Gunny Sacks lookalike comes from a brand called Cottagecore Lady. I particularly love the sleeves on this garment since I feel like I don't see bishop sleeves enough, which is an absolute crime. I also really like the print and the colors on the shoulders down to the waist, as well as the ruffled panel on the chest. Also from Cottagecore Ladies website, we have this masterpiece of a dress. It's not a Gunny Sacks replica, however, you can definitely see the influence. Once again, I love the sleeves, the romantic lace, front panel, all of it. Next time I have some extra spending money, I will probably honestly buy this. I am telling you, I am ill with regret for not buying this already. Next, even though I have nowhere to wear this and I will probably never buy one because they're about $350 minimum, I want a gown from Selkie. I see everything about the puff dresses all online, and don't get me wrong, they're beautiful, but their gowns are incredible. This dress looked like it crawled straight out of a painting. The combination of the puff sleeves, the ruffles, um, the slit, they just have- they have me shaking. I want to go to a decadent ball or some fancy garden party in this so badly. Onto the bottoms category, one thing I've been really wanting lately is a tapestry skirt. This one from Rosie Evans Online is beautiful. I love the unicorn once again, and I feel like this is a beautiful way to incorporate patchwork in a tasteful way. I'm thinking about making one of these one of these days out of excess fabric, but it will look nowhere near as nice as these ones. This is another one of their skirts. I love their floral fabrics, and the recycling of vintage pieces of cloth in this way is really cool. Definitely a staple for my dream wardrobe, for sure. I would really love some good structured, colorful velvet pants like this. These green pants are another example of what I'm looking for. You can tell that they're tailored so nicely, and I like the straight leg look as well. Lastly, in the bottoms category, I would love to find more patterned tights. I bought these beautiful purple tights from Free People a while back with a gift card, and I've been wearing them everywhere. Free People is also selling these according to Pinterest. I love the floral design once again, and wearing these would make me feel like a porcelain doll. I feel like I could really pair these with so many other items in my wardrobe. They seem very versatile and I like them a lot. Here are some other floral free people tights. These are lovely too. I like the more medieval type design. I've seen these last tights all over Pinterest for a while now. They're from Anna Sue, I believe. I love having one focal point to these tights and having it on the knee really brings the outfit all together. I'm really loving the burgundy color right now too, so I think these really add to a look. Lastly of the categories, we have jewelry. The only thing I'm looking for is silver bulky jewelry. For example, I really love this necklace. I like how it's a statement with the silver piece and the thick choker chain, but it's delicate at the same time with the pearls and the small star beads. It's such a cool piece and I'd really love to find or make something like it. This next one is so incredibly cool. It's a Victorian piece, I believe, with the bat motif, but I could be wrong. Putting this together with an outfit just automatically intensifies the look, I feel. The bat is so awesome, and I love the little flower and bird motifs as well. I think they look really beautiful, and it kind of reminds me of Liberty May's style on Instagram, um, with all the layered necklaces, and I really adore her style, and I think I would really love to own a piece like this. Next, we have this pin, I believe. I really love pins because I can place them on chokers and ribbons to make them into necklaces, or just use them as their intended use and use them as a pin. The silver and light blue color combination is striking, and I love the subtle nod to ancient art within this piece. To conclude my obsession with bulky silver jewelry, I would like to show you this. I don't think it's actually a necklace, but I like the idea of it being a necklace, and that's all that matters. This sacred heart is very beautiful, and I don't really have anything else to say about it other than that, but I think it's really cool. Anyways, that is all I could find for today, and thank you so much for listening to my fashion tangents. If you like this video, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe for more, and thank you so much once again. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your days, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye!